Hey there, if you're struggling with mixing, I want you to take my vocal mixing template so that your song can go from sounding like this. Ah, my brother, no seki. Party all night till the day break. So far, so far, you don't day. I go to this life, you know, day. Eh, I've been there, see, no get price. To sounding like this. Ah, my brother, no seki. Party all night till the day break. So far, so far, you don't day. I go to this life, you know, day. Eh, I've been there, see, no get price. So the first thing I did was remove noise from the vocals using Isotope RX Voice Denoise and then I used breath control to minimize the amount of breaths you hear in the song. Then I used this plugin RX Mouth Declick to remove mouth movements, biting, chewing and all of that stuff that you typically hear on vocals. And then I used Antares Auto Tune to make sure the vocal stays on key for the most part. And then I used FL Studios EQ to remove some low end mode, some mid range resonance and some high end harshness. And then I used FL Studios Compressor to make sure that the vocal stays even and consistent. You can copy my preset, this is what I typically use when I'm using compressor on vocals. And then right here I used Suit 2 to make sure that resonance in the vocals is further reduced in the mix. And then right here I have a serial compression going on whereby I just use a second compressor to make sure the vocal stays even more consistent but also add a little bit of analog character to the vocals. Then I have my second EQ right here which is the Shep 73 EQ from Waves and I just removed some low ends, some mids and some highs to make sure the vocals sound exactly the way I want it. And then right here I have a stereo enhancer to make the vocals sound more spread out in the mix so I sit more into the mix instead of sitting on top of the mix. And to make my vocals have more body in the mix I use the parallel compression with the ratio on 8 just to make it more a bit more aggressive. Then I have a simple reverb right here with the send about 30%. Typically, I usually have between 10 to 30% for my reverb sends. And then I have a simple EQ after the reverb send to shave away some low end that typically come with using reverb. So that the reverb sounds a lot cleaner in the mix. If you found this helpful, like and follow for more.